What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Goku Rose. So black, Goku Black Rose. <laughs> with his <coughs> scythe. Oh, I can't talk, my voice. <coughs> with that pink sort of energy, sort of chi scythe that goes around his back. Um, well, he's holding it that way anyway in this picture. Anyway, what am I saying? <coughs> I'm in landscape paper, use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast, right? When I move my hand, right? So take your time, definitely pencil, okay? Bit of a tricky pose because he's he's in three quarter, right? And we can see his back going this way and there's two hands and stuff. So we're like, really take your time with this. <clears throat> so when you're in three quarter pose, it means the head is turned away on one side. You can only see three quarters of his face. So one eye is real small, one eye is big. One eye is kind of normal, the other eyes in perspective so it's moving away from us so it appears smaller to the human eye so we start with his big eye and we're, his face is like down here just to fit in the scythe up above and his big hair so just we're below halfway for the eye okay so we'll just start with this kind of tick right that dragon ball characters have for their eyebrows we go up that and then so we can't really see the back of his eye right but we'll it's underneath hair but we'll draw it in right so we'll just do sort of a curve line here and then this goes up and then we'll bring it down so this is always the tr like the tricky part so, to there Maybe, we'll see. And then, <clears throat> so that's the main big eyebrow, right? So is the back of his eye here, and then the skinny front there, okay? So in Dragon Ball eyes, they're box-like, and you have a long eye and a short, a long line and a short, okay? And then this will curve down to meet this one, like so. And then we can nearly see his whole pupil, so like his whole iris, the whole circle for his eye, just here. Okay, like that. So, the other eye, right? So we can just see like this W sort of frowning middle. And these two curve lines just here. And then his other eye, We'll just come up from this, up to here, and then skinny to there. Okay, and this eye goes underneath like a big strand of hair, like a big hair spike, right? So we kind of have to draw that in because you can't see the other eyebrow at all, right? So it starts up here with this sort of V, and then it'll come just down across his eye there, right? <clears throat> And then the other eye, so we have, comes out from there. And then we'll go over to there. Up like so. And we can just see a little bit of his iris on this side, on the left hand side, because he's like looking over this way at us. So you go that way. And then we got like, some brow lines, some frowning kind of brow lines just there. So the main thing to remember is this eye is smaller, see, than this one. It's about half the size, I'd say. So then his nose comes out from here, sticks out. See, it curves down from the middle, curves out here. And then we will bring it around like that. You could leave it like that if you wanted, but there's some extra little detail. We have like a shadow just there. And then we have those cheek marks that Dragon Ball characters have just underneath their eyes.
and then his mouth. So his mouth kind of starts. He's got a big evil sort of smile. So it starts just beside his nose here, okay? <clears throat> and it'll curve up this way. So closed mouth it looks like at the minute, but we'll just bring it around down to there. Across the bottom. And then up to meet the other side. Like so. Right, so then teeth coming across there like that. And then up that side. And then line there. And then bottom teeth on that side and then I go across around to there you could see some like bumping sort of lines on his back teeth and we'll just color a shadow just in there now so we're in three-quarter pose right so, so the shape for the face right so we got his chin just here okay and this will go up for his jaw, up the back here. <clears throat> on that side, right? You can just see the jaw on this side. On this side, we've got the side of his face. So it goes out this way, right? Just underneath his eye and then we change direction. That way so we got like his cheek and then his jaw on this side <clears throat> and then you might have a line for his bottom lip some folds on his mouth or something there so that other hair spike that i mentioned comes down here covers his eyebrow a little bit down right beside his eye and then we go back up around here So, there's ears in here. We go up. Dragon Ball ears are pretty big, right? So it goes up, like so. Down. <coughs> like so. Around here. And like bones and ligaments on the inside. So the easiest way is always like this sort of letter, sort of J sort of thing. And then you can add more detail to it as you feel like so and <clears throat> then there's like a hair hairline under here got some extra lines like so All right, and then hair spikes, right? So fringe lines like Goku. All right, like so. Line coming in the middle here. Then another one sticking out this way. And then we kind of go back like a candle flame. That's what you got to think of, right? So it goes spiking gradually back to this pointy mid middle back here. Okay, so let's just go for it. Once you get the hang of it, it's not too difficult. It takes a bit of practice though to get Dragon Ball hair. Correct, right? So we got this, and then there's another layer, and then a big one in the middle, right? So we got like some small ones that come out from his ear back here. And they get gradually bigger then.
it. So we're gradually sort of curving this way. And then there's one in the middle here. So it goes. Like that. And then the mass of the main one back here. Like so. And we got like a couple more on this side of his head just sticking out over here, right? So. small one here never see you never see that really usually it's in that picture but you don't see that in Dragon Ball characters that often especially Goku <coughs> <coughs> sorry for coughing okay so texture lines oh and there's another hairline just there so for the texture lines, you, you know, you just add a couple, you just follow the direction for each one. You know, you kind of just make it up, you just like make it up look hairy. It's more of a directional thing rather than like actually showing that it's individual hairlines or anything. They're like solid shapes. Roughly like that. Okay. So as I said, right, so his back is here. We've a hand coming up here and the side goes the whole way back, right? So his shoulder is just right underneath his chin here. So it comes down like this. Bumps down for his costume, like his clothing. And then it'll go up around here, okay? And we can see a little bit of skin for his neck, just there. And maybe like some other four lines for his collar or his clothing. <clears throat> and then, so, inside line of his sleeve goes down there, and then we have a round shoulder muscle, bicep a little bit goes down off my page. The hand is going to come out here, but we'll finish his back first, like his other sort of areas of his back. So his shoulder comes out that way, on the other side, down, we'll just get like his torso in here, right? Kind of that sort of thing. And then some more texture, like so, lines like that. So this hand coming up here, might as well. So just the forearm, right, kind of like that. And he's got like some folds on his sleeve and some bumps on the edges. This kind of thing, okay. And his hand, right, so we've got a thumb. It's going around the back of the side, from what I can see, so we can't really see much of it. It just goes around like so. And then we'll bring it. So we'll go up towards his index. It's a pretty simple way of drawing a hand, this one, because like his finger has a ring, so we just go around here. Knuckle, 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 knuckle. Right, so four. Knuckles, right, this kind of like a stump sort of thing <clears throat> you can have knuckle lines and stuff if you want right and then he's got that ring on his finger so so the shape generally what does it have on this so it's like we go this way right and then bring it around goes around this way for like a golden edge and then we have another sort of line to it there. Another line here. Something else here. So that's all I can make out of that ring, really. So the side then is going all the way back. 
that way. And we have another hand kind of making a like this kind of thing just over here, okay? So we do that first. So his shoulder comes down like so. And then the other side of the shoulder comes out here. And this will meet an elbow here somewhere. And then we have bicep. Right. So our elbow kind of goes around this way, kind of pointy. Right, so and then the forearm comes out, say from the middle of the bicep here, right? So it comes out here, kind of wraps around, bumps around here. It's quite skinny up there, so it'll go like back this way. So this is like some bumps and folds and stuff on the top of his sleeve. <clears throat> Something like that, right? And then that other hand that's making this kind of claw-like gesture okay so we got like two bumps here for where his thumb starts and then the thumb goes around top here down once more back up that way back up to here and up to there so, another knuckle here, down, another one around here, go around there, down to there. And this, like so, and then like a couple of knuckle lines. There. That, maybe like a thumbnail, just here. So then, this side, right? So we're gonna do it sort of with energy kind of lines, right? So you're gonna add some, kind of these, or a spiking. Lines like this, so you're going for like, sort of like fire. sort of thing, kind of this sort of chi, and then it comes out from his hair, we'll go all the way up, like so, and then we'll go down, and we'll just bring it around, we'll just draw that big so it goes out all the way past his hand that's how far back that way back in and it'll go past like his hair Right, and that's all like pink and same sort of color as his hair kind of thing. Right, but that's it. That's how to draw Goku Black Rose with his weapon, his scythe. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.